What is going on, everybody? My name is Michael Levan, and welcome back to part two of the interview prep series. In this part, we're gonna take a look at the GoWeb API that we took a look at last week and how to take that application and actually containerize it and then push it up to Azure Container Registry. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is ensure that once we build a Docker image, we have a place to store it. So because we're gonna be deploying to Kubernetes and we're gonna use AKS or Azure Kubernetes services, the thing that makes the most sense is to use Azure Container Registry to store our Docker image. So I have this resource group called Interview Prep. You can create whatever resource group name you want. That doesn't really matter. It just felt like that made sense. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in Container Registry in the search bar. I'm gonna to go to container registries. I'm gonna click add here. And by the way, I'm doing this through the UI, but you could do this through the Azure Cloud, PowerShell, Python, whatever you want. Primary reason why I'm doing it through the UI is because honestly, at the end of the day, this is probably gonna be something that's done once. You know, your container registry isn't really something that's always built or deleted and destroyed and then rebuilt, stuff like that. So from here, I'll say go web AP. Now, you know what? I'll actually call this interview prep as well. And then the location East US, standard, uh, we could literally just do basic actually, because we're only gonna be storing one. And then from here, we'll do review and create. We'll go ahead and we'll create this. So once this is created, and this is just gonna take a few moments here, then we'll have a place to actually store our Docker image once we build it. So let's head over to VS Code and build that Docker image now that we have a place to store it. I have the Docker file open here and you can find it in the interview prep GitHub repository on my GitHub. So first we're gonna be pulling from the latest Golang Docker image on Docker Hub. Then on line three, we're gonna be creating a new directory and that directory is gonna be build. We're gonna ensure that our working directory, AKA where all of our applications, or even if it's just one application, will run from. Then we have an export. So this export go 111 module, means that even if the code is not coming from the main branch, for example, and you're doing it from a maybe a dev branch or something like that, it'll pull any version that you want. Next, on line seven, we're running a go get to retrieve the application from GitHub. Then we're gonna go into the build directory and we're gonna do a git clone from the interview prep repository. On line 10, we're gonna run a go build against that application. And that application is of course, the one that we created in the last video. Then we're gonna expose port 8080, and our entry point is gonna be the application itself from the build here. Now the entry point, just remember, this is kind of like Docker automatically running your application for you. You point to where the app is, and then every time that the container comes up, the application comes up. So with that, let's go ahead and try to build out our Docker image. So we'll run Docker build. We give this a tag of go web. And then we'll do a dot here because we're in the same directory where the Docker file exists. I'm gonna click run here. Okay, and that was pretty quick. So it goes through all the steps here. Everything is working as it should. That is awesome. So I'm gonna clear the screen here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run Docker image LS. We see here, where is it? We have our go web right here. So now we have to do is we have to tag it and push it up into our Azure Container Registry. So we're gonna run az acr login. I'm gonna type in name and then our registry. So interview prep. As we can see here, the login was succeeded. So now once we do that, we're gonna have to tag our Docker image. So we're gonna run Docker tag. We're gonna say go web. That's the Docker image that we wanna tag. And then we're gonna put in our registry information. So interview prep.azurecr.io. So this .azurecr.io is always gonna be the same. And then when you do slash, this is like the registry or the location where the image is gonna actually reside in the registry itself. So we'll put in, for example, go and then Go web API, All right? So we've tagged that. If I run Docker image LS, we can see here that we have this tag right here. And then we can run a Docker push and we'll highlight this right here. Okay. 
And then as we can see, this is gonna start to push our Docker image up to ACR. And then once this is complete, we'll just head over to ACR really quick and take a look to confirm that that Docker image is up there successfully. All right, our Docker image is up in ACR successfully. So let's head over to ACR and take a look. I'm here at our container registry. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this page really quick. And then I'm gonna go down to repositories and here's our Go repository with our Go Web API Docker image. So that's how you can actually build up the Docker image and push it up to ACR. In the next video, we're gonna build Kubernetes in AKS or Azure Kubernetes service. That way we can host our Go Web API inside of Kubernetes. Thanks so much for watching.